There you go, inchworm. Okay, so it goes, um, we've got a little, uh, lovely little um, simple bit first. So it goes inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. You and your arithmetic, you probably go far. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. Seems to me you'd stop and see, uh, see you'd stop and see how beautiful they are. Now, if your screen is like mine, I don't know if I can move that screen around. If your screen's like mine and I've got a weird double screen. Oh, there you go. I've moved it at least so that you can't see it anymore. Or at least I can't see it. Maybe you can never see it. Um, so we'll try that. I'll teach you a line and then you sing it back, okay? So we've got inchworm, inchworm. Try that. Inchworm, inchworm. Then it goes measuring the marigolds. Measuring the marigolds. Then we've got you and your arithmetic. Okay, so I don't know if you're any good at arithmetic, kind of counting and things. Try that, ready, and you and your arithmetic. And then it goes, you'll probably go far. You'll probably go far. Oh, thank you, Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles has said it looks fine. Good, because it was putting me off. But anyway, we're fine. So let's try all of that bit. One, two, three. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. You and your arithmetic, you'll probably go far. So you can sing it nice and gently and beautifully. It's supposed to be nice and quiet, but almost lullaby-ish. And then you've got very similar again. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. So that's all the same. Then it goes. Seems to me you'd stop and see how beautiful they are. So how beautiful. So they go up a little higher than normal. How beautiful they are. Okay, can we go from the second lot of inchworms? Okay, second half. Ready, two, three. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. Seems to me you'd stop and see how beautiful they are. So remembering how we talked about using our tummy muscles for higher notes or louder notes. How beautiful, because it's a big jump. You want to make sure that you do a little squeeze of those tummy muscles to help your voice jump up. How beautiful they are. Try that. How beautiful they are. That's it. So that's our first bit. The first, the A section. And then we've got this next sec section. Two and two are four. Now, is a little bit higher. So can, we, can you give me a woo? And a yippee. All right, so our voices can stretch up there. It just, it's not our, the usual place because you don't speak up. Well, most people don't speak up there. Uh, maybe there are some people who do. So we've got, it's a little bit higher. It goes like this. Two and two are four. Four and four are eight. Eight and eight are 16. 16 and 16 are 32. Okay. So you'll notice it is actually arithmetic. Two and two, two are four, four and four are eight. You could say add four, but it, uh, two and two, four and four are eight, eight and eight are 16, 16 and 16 are 32. So hopefully you already know that. Um, so let's try singing a line at a time. So first line goes two and two are four. And you've got to use your tummy muscles on the R. Make sure you're leaving your chin where it is though. Ready, two, three. Two and two are four. Then same tune. Four and four are eight. Okay, that little pull down is where you clench your tummy muscles, squeeze your tummy muscles. Then this bit is different. 
And this goes eight and eight and sixteen. Okay, so again, eight and eight. You've got to pull on the eight, second eight. Ready? Eight and eight and sixteen. Great, let's try again. Eight and eight and sixteen. And then sixteen and sixteen and thirty-two. So what's, what's weird about that line? What do you notice about that line? Listen again. 16 and 16 are 32. It is all the same note. Okay, so it's a bit challenging because you've got lots of syllables, but it's all the same note. Try it with me. Ready? And 16 and 16 are 32. That's it. So let's try that. And that whole section happens twice. Two and two, ready? Two and two are four, four and four are eight, eight and eight are sixteen, sixteen and sixteen are thirty-two, two and two are four, four and four are eight, eight and eight are sixteen, sixteen and sixteen are thirty-two. All right. So again, you don't have to do this very loud, um, but make sure that you're breathing uh, and taking good breaths in between each phrase and also using that those tummy muscles. Um, so then what happens is they both happen together. So I'm afraid the writing's gone a bit smaller because I've had to squeeze them into the same, um, the same page. Although I suppose those of you singing the two and two are four probably could have remembered the words. But anyway, it goes back to this and both happen at the same time. So I'm going to back, go back to the beginning of the lyrics and we're going to play in uh, Inchworm. We're going to sing Inchworm section. We're going to sing the two and two are four. And then you've got to choose the third time round. You either can stick and just repeat the two and two are four or you can go back to the Inchworm. I'm going to go back to the Inchworm section. That's all right. So I'm going to do an inchworm, then two and two, then back to inchworm. Here we go. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigold. You and your arithmetic, you'll probably go far. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring marigolds seems to me you'd stop and see how beautiful they are two and two are four four and four are eight eight and eight are sixteen sixteen and sixteen are thirty-two two and two are <coughs> Excuse me. We split. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. You and your arithmetic, you'll probably go far. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. Seems to me you'd stop and see. How beautiful they 